46 years of doing these operations, I can tell you one thing, they're two completely different operations in terms of indications, techniques, and outcomes. Non-vascularized transfer, I'd call a VW bug operation. Quick, easy, cheap, and gets the job done. The indications are when you need length and stability or the patients refuse a micro transfer. It's also very <clears throat> convenient for floppy joints. Proviso is that you have good soft tissue. The harvest is easy. Uh, in terms of growth, a third of these will grow, a third of these will have premature closure, and a third will have uh, complete or partial resorption, which I would not include as a complication. Outcomes on greater than 20 years have more than 100 of these. Uh, they all lose their motion if you try to construct the motion by uh, attaching the extrinsic, and they all eventually fuse to the adjacent bone. Distractions mentioned many times, not a good idea at the phalangeal level, very effective at the metacarpal level. Vascularized toe transfers are the Rolls-Royce or Bentley operation, gives you all you want plus more. Indications are the same, plus significant losses of the thumb or the digits. Proviso here is micro. The harvest donor and recipients can be difficult. The growth should be normal as it would be on the foot and resorption should not exist. Success rate should be close to 100%, but this is high maintenance surgery. Distraction again, not at the phalangeal level. Foot function is good if the metatarsals are left intact. Two examples. The first is symbrachydactyly, and a child had four toe phalangeal transfers in, at 18 months. Below you see her at 20 years. These feet are totally functional, but as you can see, they're conspicuous and ugly. Same deformity in a child with a constriction ring syndrome. Here a quad trans toe transfer was done. Revisions included syndactyly releases and pulp plasties. In 15 years, she considers both feet as normal because she had no toes on the other foot. Take home message for me is that in the past 20 years, I've done fewer and fewer non-vascularized transfers and clearly favor vascularized transfers. These are uh, very gratifying, challenging, and useful operations and should be done more.